Happy Halloween! Hey guys, welcome back to Queen of Quirk. The other day I decided to bake some brownies but with a Halloween twist. They are graveyard brownies. I was inspired to bake these brownies after watching Dan and Phil's baking video from 2012. So I thought I'd show you how I interpreted the recipe in celebration of Halloween and maybe you'll bake these today. As you can tell this was a big fat fail. Seriously, look how terrible they look. Hope you enjoy it! First I preheated my oven to 175 degrees celsius. Then I measured 275 grams of chocolate and put it in a bowl. Then I kneaded 275 grams of unsalted butter and then I put it in the bowl with the chocolate. Next I put the bowl with the chocolate and butter over a pan of simmering water and allowed it to melt. I just want the brownies to be made already. Look how good it looks! Then I measured 175 grams of plain flour and I sifted it into a bowl. After that I added 1 teaspoon of baking powder to the mix. I put that bowl with the flour and baking powder to the side and then measured my caster sugar which I needed 325 grams of. Then I stirred it in. I cracked 4 eggs into a bowl and whisked, whisked, I can't say the word, whisked them so it was a nice mixture and I added it to the big bowl. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Now it was time for me to add this good stuff. Teaspoon of vanilla essence. You can leave your brownies completely plain or you can put in a few things like marshmallows or other things. I can't think of anything. I'll leave examples here. But I'm putting in marshmallows. Look at them fan marshmallows go. Add the flour and baking powder from earlier on and fold it in. I'm just making myself hungry now. Now this is the part where it all went wrong. So I added the delicious brownie mix to each square of this tin, but looking back in retrospect, this made everything worse. It didn't grease the sides of each square in the tin enough and it was really hard to cut them out. I would now recommend using a normal tin as this is the result of using a normal tin and they look so much nicer than these. I mean, come on. So grease the tin with butter and put all the mixture in and put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. When you take them out, the top should be firm and the middle squishy. So I took the brownies out of the oven, allowed them cool, then tried to cut them out, but they all crumbled. For the gravestones, I thought it'd be cool to write RIP in icing on Oreo cookies. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. For the writing, I used a mix of icing sugar and water and a big writing pen thing, whatever you call it. I wrote RIP on half of Oreos and stuck them onto the brownies with ice, the icing sugar. It really didn't add to the brownies. It kind of made them look worse, to be honest. If you could do a better job than me, I'm sure they would look great. So my brownies look terrible, but they tasted amazing. If you try to recreate them, make sure to send me a photo. So this video is a collab with Aaron McDonald. I'll leave his channel below and his video. He is such a good YouTuber, you should def definitely subscribe to him. But why not subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this quirky me and quirky life. Sorry that this was such a fail. I hope it got you in the Halloween spirit anyway. It might have some Halloween music going on. Thank you for watching nonetheless and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!